Where do you go in Tucson, Arizona for an Italian-American inspired menu fused with the flavors of Southern Arizona? The restaurant is none other than Zio Pepe off of Tank Verde Road, open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and has been voted diner's choice on Open Table for 2023. Everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about Zio Pepe, one of my new favorite restaurants serving pizza, pasta, other Latin-fused Italian food, not to mention beer, wine, and lots of yummy cocktails. Comment below with your favorite thing on the menu at Zio Pepe, and when you're ready to buy or sell Tucson real estate, I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each of the hundreds of videos on this YouTube channel, and we have dozens of other videos on this channel about restaurants and things to do and things to know about Tucson, Arizona, my hometown. So make sure you explore the rest of this channel and like and subscribe to follow along with Tucson and real estate in general. Zio Pepe means Uncle Joe in Italian and is lovingly named after one of Zio Pepe's owners whose Uncle Joe Sadosanti opened Tucson's first Sicilian pizza place, Teseo's Pizzeria, nearly 50 years ago. Zio Pepe is one of those places where you're going to get a traditional Italian meal with an innovative twist and you're going to get some gourmet cuisine in a comfortable and casual and welcoming setting. And the owners and chefs Devin Sanner and Matt Cable are going to make sure you have a great time along with a great meal. Everyone has their favorite items on this menu, but our family has to get the birria pizza or the figgy stardust pizza every time we're here. My daughter loves the fettuccine alfredo. Every appetizer is absolutely delicious, especially the tamale polenta and elote. And we always get the taconoli for dessert. For drinks, I like pretty much everything, but I especially love their lemon cello margarita. One of the owners and head chefs, Chef Devin, recently competed in the Tucson Iron Chef competition. He was up against the reigning champ, Chef Ken from Dante's Fire. But I was excited for the opportunity to interview Chef Devin before that competition, and I loved everything he told me about the restaurant and menu. I'm Devin Sanner. Matt and I were able to get this fortuitous stroke of luck to, to get into a, a place here that was you know, a now fifth generation operation uh, in terms of it's, it's had a, a long storied history of being a bar and restaurant several different times over but had a, an amazing brick hearth pizza oven already built in and that kind of sealed the deal. So I think we provide the familiar and the comforting in an unfamiliar way. And so we have dishes that really resonate with people and palates and, and like comfort and, and some familiarity and nostalgia, but in a way that's really unexpected. Most Tucsonans at this point have had a quesadilla taco, but not all that many have had a birria pizza where we're translating this into the Italian idiom and the sort of things that we do that are, you know, most people have had a penne alla vodka at some point in their life and we do a rotini alla tequila with house-made pasta and nice. a tequila and tomato cream sauce. We're presenting some things, you know, slightly outside of the, the lane of what people have experienced before. I think it strikes a chord with people. Being delicious is first and foremost incorporating the ingredients of the region. It's part and parcel what we do in incorporating masa into our polenta to give that familiar nixtamalized corn, that tamale flavor, and getting green chili powder that we incorporate into the garganelle noodles themselves. The type of cuisine that we serve is Italian snort, and it's a hybrid or fusion. To us, that's what the great cuisine is about, is, is taking influence from different sources and finding a new language and finding a new idiom for this food. We're a scratch kitchen. We make all our own pastas. We make our dough for our bread and our pizzas, and we incorporate local ingredients. So our, our pizza dough, we have a base of Neapolitan Caputo double zero flour, which is sort of the gold standard of, of pizza making. But we incorporate also hard red wheat that's grown for us locally at BKW Farms, just outside the city of Marana. And then 1% of our dough is locally foraged mesquite flour that we get from Miskashita Refugee Network. So it's the products, the sourcing of the products, where we're getting it is all very much rooted in community and it's a sense of place and flavors of the region. Uh, similarly, our pastas, we incorporate in our pastas wolfberry, which is grows wild in the Sonoran Desert here. It's a goji berry. And so we've got our wolf and shrimp linguine. We've got green chili and the garganelle. Our, our pesto sauce incorporates chiltepin and cilantro. We take all these ingredients of the region that we try to source as much as we can locally. The story of our food is a story of community. And I think you can appreciate the intention in the food. And that's why we do this. It's so gratifying to, to really resonate with people and, and when people really appreciate something that you've done and, mm -hmm. and put that intention and effort behind it, that's, you know, 
that's really what, what warms our hearts. So if you're going to make a meal of it, so the, the appetizer not to be missed is the elote arancini, which is the perfect synthesis of Sicilian street food and Sonoran street food. So arancini are rolled risotto balls or bread and fried uh, from you know, Sicily. And elote is Sonoran street vendors corn. It's grilled corn with lime and mayo and cream and queso fresco and tahine, the, the chili and salt and lime spice. And we combine those together. So we grill off the corn, fold it into this risotto with Parmesan and queso fresco. And instead of rolling it in breadcrumbs, it gets rolled in crushed corn tortilla chips, fried golden brown delicious. It's a cilantro and lime crema that goes on top yeah. of it. From that app, then you move on to the Birria pizza. is a signature pizza, and you're not going to get it elsewhere. And we, we've got a fantastic collaboration. It also tells the story of who we are, and collaborating with others in the community. Chef Juan Almanza owns El Rustico Tacos, and phenomenal chef. Never had a bad bite from Juan, so he, he provides us with a Birria for that. It's unique, it's delicious, and it just works well. Signature drink, our limoncello margarita is the, the runway number one with a bowl. It, make our own house limoncello and it's just fantastic it's got the perfect <laughs> combination of that that tartness and a little bit of sweetness and just good quality tequila we do indeed have dessert the one that we knew we had to have on menu from the start that was the, the taco noli we started tossing around ideas we'd done in a little event before we opened and I decided to do cannolis for this it was such a smash at this event we're like okay well i, I guess we're doing cannolis yeah. then how do we incorporate that into our lane as it were simply making it in the form of a taco and then incorporating some local citrus in it cannoli shell itself with a little bit of madeira and cinnamon in there and the filling of mm -hmm. Uh, mascarpone and pistachio and ricotta uh, and a little local orange citrus zest on there. We do have a, a couple of salads on the menu, a masculine salad that has seasonal fruit and pecorino romano cheese, a little lemon and honey citronette on there. We've got a fantastic Caesar salad with comically large croutons. Zio Pepe is really, that's my love letter to Tucson and speaking the lens of uh, Italian and Italian American cuisine, but through local ingredients and techniques and this you know, beautiful hybridization of, of the two cultures and cuisines. It's only been around for a few years, and ever since we discovered it, we've been going there as regulars, and it's always a relaxed and comfortable and welcoming setting, and the food always hits the spot. Shortly after I interviewed Chef Devin, he was ready to compete in the Iron Chef Tucson 2023 competition, and we do have a video coming on this channel about that, so make sure you're subscribing to follow along to find out who won and took home that trophy. When you're ready to buy or sell Tucson real estate, I would love to work with you. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this YouTube channel. And we have hundreds of videos on this channel about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. Comment below with your favorite Zio Pepe menu item or your favorite Tucson restaurant, and I will add it to my list of videos to make. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next Tucson video.